Okay, today I have something really special to share with you. Um, it's a video of a friend of, a friend of mine using uh, internal chi, internal power, internal energy to uh, move, ob move um, a physical object um, without touching it. Um, before we look at the video, however, I think I should probably introduce it, uh, introduce my friend and introduce, you know, what the heck is going on. Um, because I get, I get it, right? There's, you know, there's, um, there's going to be some skeptic, this is going to be met with some skepticism, which it should be, right? Everything we encounter, we should, um, we should be skeptical of. We should, um, you know, you don't want to just believe everything you see on the internet, right? Um, but I do believe that um, sharing this video might be of interest for, for people who already have a basis in these arts, who have been training in these arts and already um, have come to the understanding experientially that weird shit can happen, excuse my French. Um, and this video, I think, is just a way of, of looking at when that weird stuff happens, it's, you can actually see it, right? It's, it's outside of our body, right? As opposed to just weird stuff happening inside our body through the practice. So I, th I, think, it's, I think it's good to, to share. Um, now, uh, one thing I should mention right away is um, there are two people in this video. One is a, a famous Nagel master uh, named John Chang. And the other one, uh, my friend, is, uh, is, is, is not famous. And he doesn't want to be. He um, contacted me several months ago, might have even been a year ago, and asked me to share this video. But he was very clear. He wants to remain anonymous. So if you recognize him, please do not mention his name in the comments below right? Um, he does wish to be anonymous. It's not, a, this video is not about him. It's about what is happening. Um, and I think his main motivation for sharing it is just for A, information um, of the internal arts and B, um, well, inspiration for what the, the, the human potential we can achieve. Um, so John Chang is a, a famous Nagel master. Uh, and he lived uh, in Indonesia um, through, for the last few hundred years, uh, Chinese have been, um, have been relocating uh, outside of China w w within South, uh, Southeast Asia. So Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, and of course here in the Western world, right? North America, Europe. Um, these, these, these Chinese are known as Hua Qiao, um, and they're basically disparate communities uh, Chinatowns, right? They, they go to uh, a, a new, new country and uh, they settle there. Um, but Chinese people like to stay together. They're very, they're very family-oriented people and um, clan-oriented people. And so this happened in Indonesia as well. And John Chang, John Chang was born in Indonesia, um, but he is, he is from this group of people. And the lineage uh, that he practices and, and taught is, is a Chinese lineage of Nagong, of, uh, of internal, internal energy uh, development. Um, now, the interesting thing about this story is, is, uh, is how my friend met John Chang. And um, in the 90s, there was uh, a, a video going around, a VHS tape. Uh, <laughs> right, this is before, before YouTube. The internet was around, but before YouTube. And so seeing a lot of the really cool internal art stuff, you had to get it on VHS, uh, you know, and it was, it was troublesome. So he saw this video um, of, of a man, John Chang, um, um, using his powers of Neigong to uh, ignite a, a bold, bold up, uh, balled up piece of newspaper with his hands, right? And um, you can see, actually see the video, it's on YouTube, so there's copies of it. You can find it quite easily. And, uh, and so that was, it kind of blew my friend's mind at the time, right? He really, he was like, wow, I mean, is that real? <laughs> is it possible? And if it is possible, how do you do it, right? And so uh, my friend was, was uh, one day in the 90s walking into a mall in, in uh, sunny California and out of the mall walked this Chinese guy who looked like John Chang, looked like the, the fellow from this video. And my friend was kind of blown away. He's like, it's, no, it can't be. I mean, he's like here in America, 
California, you know, like in this mall. So he rushed over and said, excuse me, I don't mean to intrude, but are you John Chang? <laughs> and he looked at me, yeah. <laughs> and my friend was like, wow, may I study with you? I would love to learn from you. So uh, John Chang kind of went, well, you know, I, I live in Indonesia. I'm just here visiting. Um, you'd have to fly to Indonesia. And my friend's like, okay, yeah, I can do that. And uh, can you sit in full lotus for, for hours a day? And my friend said, yeah, I can do that too. And so he said, sure, here's my number. Uh, come look me up. And so, you know, uh, <laughs> such a, you know, uh, it, it's amazing how, how life works sometimes, right? When you meet, you know, just so, it seems so random, right? Anyways, so my friend uh, went in Indonesia and trained with him for, for a number of years. Um, he would go, I can't remember exactly, he'd go there for, you know, weeks, months at a time, train, then come back to the States and, and, and then go back and forth. And uh, stayed, with, uh, stayed, with, stayed with John in, in Indonesia and, uh, and, and learned as much as he could. And some of the stories he tells are really interesting. Um, and so this video we're going to watch is my friend's level two test um, within John Chang's Mopai Negong system. And so the Mopai Negong system is um, laid out quite clearly in terms of levels. It's quite simple from my, from my understanding. I mean, my friend is... I have have some understanding of what goes on with in the, at least the earlier levels of it and compared to what I teach and what I'm with um, Wong Li Ping's Longman Pai it's it's a fair bit simpler it's pared down to just the essentials of how you how you build that kind of energy and how you can learn to work with yin qi and yang qi right yin and yang qi um, to get interesting results and so John Chang would would apply these results in a clinical setting to to heal people um, and, uh, and so there's various levels and each level has a test. Um, and so it's, it's not, it's very, you know, it's very concrete, you know, what's where you're at and what you need to do. You do need a teacher to learn it. Um, but the results are quite interesting. And so, uh, this is level two test, or as my friend told me, it's not officially level two test because he's too close uh, it should be more distance to do a real level two, but I think uh, John Chang just wanted to see what he could do. Um, and, uh, and so what I thought we'd do is, is let's watch the video. Now, um, I've put the video, you can watch, watch the video in a moment, and it, it's a very short little clip, and I'll repeat a, a couple times so that you can get a, a sense of what's happening. And notice at the very end as well what happens to the, the VHS tape boxes that are on the counter. So what you're going to see is my friend doing Ne Gong um, and emitting uh, Qi through his hand uh, into the their VHS tape boxes that are empty and they're placed on a, on a counter and you'll see John Chang there as well and he um, um, does the Ne Gong practice and moves the tapes. Now, the way that it works is John Chang and, um, and my friend are using their chi together, right? So John Chang is putting yin chi. He's split apart yin and yang chi, because that's a big part of the practice, putting the yin chi inside the boxes, the VHS boxes, and then is learning to use yang chi and he connects his yang qi with John Chang's yin qi, connects them, and that's what allows the movement to happen. It's like you're splitting apart energy, right? Into yin and yang, negative and positive, splitting them apart, and then they can interact together, right? It's like it has a magnetic quality. And you'll see at the end of the, the short clip, when John Chang bends down to pick up a box off the, off the floor, the two boxes on the top, they move as well, right? Because the, the energy in the boxes are connected to um, the Mingmen. This is what my, my friend uh, has exp uh, explained to me. So it's connected to the Mingmen. So you can see that as well. It's very, very interesting. Um, you know, 
whether or not it's just a lot of smoke and mirrors or if there's something um, something real happening here I'll, I'll leave that for you to decide um, so let's take a look at the video So what my friend's working with there is, is yin and yang chi, right? Yin, yang, are chi. Um, and it's a really important part of, uh, of, of ne gong practice, of upper level uh, ne dan, internal alchemy, is working with yin and yang chi. Um, learning how to fuse it, called yin and yang fusion, and then learning how to split it apart and do things with it, right? Um, learning how to emit both yang qi and, and yin qi, right? Emitting yin qi is where it gets interesting. Um, in, uh, in, my own, in my own system, the one I'm involved with, and, and with uh, Wang Li Ping, um, the, the fusion of yin and yang is something that, would, that happens a bit later. Um, initially, what Wang Li Ping teaches, and what I initially teach, uh, and in my books as well, is... Um, building foundation and preparation practices called the yin xian methods, yin xian fa. Um, because to be able to fuse yin and yang, to be able to, to get to that, uh, to be able to do that, requires um, a lot of preparatory work. Um, it requires, uh, Wang Liping put, puts it this way, you need a substance. If you don't have a, a substance in, in the body, um, um, an energetic substance to work with, you can't do it. So it's just sort of pointless, right? Um, pointless to teach it. Uh, but it's all in there. So we use the Insian methods um, to prepare to build foundation um, for the alchemical work and prepare the mind and body for the alchemical work. Uh, and then in um, uh, and then in what we call in our system, we call it the San Xian Gong, which is the three immortals. Practice and the three immortals practice is the core of the of the internal alchemy within um, within our system. Um, and the first level of of the San Xian Gong, um, there's forty five methods altogether. Not in the first level. Mm, excuse me. There's forty five. Um, there's forty five methods. Uh, they're divided into ten gates or or state levels, um, which say let's say stages, and then those are put into three different levels. And the first level is the uh, the Ren Xian Gong, Di Xian Gong, and then Tian Xian Gong. So first level is Ren Xian Gong is the human immortal practice, and then earthly immortal practice, and then the celestial immortal practice. Um, and it's, there's some really advanced stuff in there, and I've, I've not learned it all, learned some of it, but um, like the celestial mortal practice is, um, is, is super high level. The initial entry level, which is the human immortal practice, Ren Xian Gong, uh, the very first thing we learn is yin and yang fusion. Um, and it's split into three parts. Um, so um, the pairing of yin and yang, right? Bring yin and yang together. The second part is uh, the interaction of yin and yang, um, right? So they start interacting. And then the third part is yin and yang exchange, um, where you, uh, um, you exchange yin and yang. Um, and so this is a this is just it's classic canonly uh, alchemical practice, um, a lot of fun, very powerful, um, really powerful stuff. Uh, and so yin and yang chi is it's a it's an it's a it's a pretty central facet of a lot of different lineages um, of you know internal alchemy or ne gong or whatever you want to want to call it right. There's there's 
um, right, John Chang stuff is different than um, Wang Li Ping stuff. So I have that on good authority from my friend in that video, and he tells me the, a lot of the, the, the differences. And he, you know, I think one of the main differences that my friend mentioned is Wang Li Ping re is really, really good at uh, what's called Xing Gong. Um, which is the more spiritual side of the practice, working with the spirit um, and the shen guang, the light of our spirit, and that sort of thing, right? Um, whereas, you know, with John Chang, he's very good at building that lower, lower Dantian, which Wang Liping's good at as well. You need both, right? So there's kind of a constant sort of uh, two sides, right? So you want to build, build the lower space, the lower, uh, the lower field, the lower Dantian, and that really anchors you in your practice and gives you, it gives you the, the strength and energy to succeed in your practice. Um, and that's what we call Ming Gong. Um, and then as you go up, it becomes more spiritual, for lack of a better, better word, uh, more Xing Gong as we go up, right? And, um, and it's interesting, I also have a good friend who's a lineage of, of who's a, a disciple of another lineage in China. Um, and his method are very, very similar to what you saw in this video. And that's one of the reasons I, it's, it's interesting. Like, I think that adds, um, it adds legitimacy to the video in terms of what's happening there. It's just, there is a completely separate lineage that they do very, very similar things. And the underlying energetic mechanics are very, very similar, right? I mean, I guess I, <laughs> there's only so many different ways you can do this stuff, right? We're in a body and energy, it's going to behave in a certain way in the body, right? Uh, there's only so many different ways of of, uh, of going about it. Uh, so anyways, I hope you have uh, enjoyed uh, something a little different. Uh, um, I, I don't, I'm not here to, uh, you know, whether you believe it or not, <laughs> I get it, right? That's up to you. If you don't, I get it. If you do, great, doesn't matter, right? It's not, it's just, I think it's, I think it's interesting to put it out there um, and, uh, and it's more just information, right? More data for our own, uh, our, mo our own understanding of how we figure the world works and who we are and whatnot. Um, and then again, I, as a practitioner, the more you practice, the more that video will make sense, right? Um, if, if you're not a practitioner, it won't make sense. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, again, uh, please, if you know my friend's name, don't disclose it uh, in the comments or, or anywhere else. Uh, he wishes to remain anonymous. Mm -hmm.